I was telling Trent, because we had saw the Joker movie, and I was practicing his dance, the, like his little silicone dance. I was like, yo, I'm gonna practice that dance. I'm gonna do that <laughs> if I score. But uh, I got so hyped just from, from the moment. Yeah, I mean, we'll be waiting for something come next time hopefully, then. Hopefully. I wanna see the whole, the whole dance. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Welcome in everyone to Out of Bounds. Today, our special guest is running back Chase Edmonds. Thanks for joining us Appreciate today. you having me, Ms. Lisa. Well, first off, how does it feel just to finally get a taste of victory on the team's perspective and just get a win? Just a Sunday? big, big sigh of relief. Uh, really good job by the whole team offensively and defensively, just playing complimentary football, helping each other out, and just finding a way to win the game. Uh, obviously, I remember I got nervous when they scored that last touchdown, and then uh, we had two minutes left. I'm like, oh, man, no, this, this, can't, this can't happen. Uh, just looked at Kyler, you know, told him this is what, you, what we drafted you for, and he made two great plays, phenomenal plays on that last drive to help us out. Yeah, just to go through the emotions of that yeah, game, and you cool, securing yep. a 37-yard touchdown, you think, okay, we got this. We should be all right. Yeah, yeah. we should be good. <laughs> they go through the emotions. But what does a win like that just do for the morale of this team? Oh, it helps us uh, significantly. You know, and um, hopefully we can build on it. We got Atlanta this week. You know, and if we can build on that and just continue to grow, you know, once we get P2 back the week after that, then you got a lot of energy coming into the building and we can see what we can do from there. You had eight carries, 68 yards. Again, your 37-yard touchdown. What did it mean to you just to have that kind of impact on a game? Um, it's, it's good for my confidence. You know, um, I remember being asked during training camp, just like people were asking me, what was my goal coming into my second year? And uh, I stuck by it. I always told people that, you know, I know David Johnson is, is great, but I wanted to, to kind of get the notion that Arizona has a dynamic backfield and it's not just David Johnson. Um, I believe in my talents, I'm confident, and uh, I just want to continue to come out, make plays, and find out ways to expand my role for the offense. Well, between David, you, and Murray, it was like yeah. a three-headed monster running the ball. What kind of confidence does that give an offense to be able to run like that in a game. Tremendous, you know, when you can dominate the line of scrimmage and just run the football, you kind of dictate the tempo. You dictate what plays you want to call just because uh, you're not behind the sticks, you're not in second and longs, you're not in third and longs, and it keeps the defense guessing a lot. So um, I think if we can continue just to build on that and find ways to balance our, our game plan, we'll be all right. It was a 37 yard toss play touchdown run down the sideline, get the <laughs> score, and what was your celebration at that point? Uh, I was just more hyped, more excited, so I just kind of had my arms out running. Flying high. The funny thing is, I was uh, I was telling Trent, because we had saw the Joker movie, and I was Ooh. practicing his dance, the, like his little silicone dance. I was like, yo, I'm gonna practice that dance. I'm gonna do that <laughs> if I score, but uh, I got so hyped just from, from the moment. Yeah. I didn't even have you can't really rehearse how you're gonna oh, film you that moment. You can't rehearse, yeah, it's something that you just gotta like, you gotta think about it when the moment's going, oh, see, all right, I gotta bust it down. We'll be waiting for something come next hopefully, time then. Hopefully. I wanna see the whole, the whole dance. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I know that you take a lot of pride in just developing yourself as a player yeah. and who you surround yourself with. You're always with Larry or Christian Kirk okay, and yeah. David Trent, um, just all hard workers, that group of you guys. Yeah. So what does it mean to you just to have guys like that to look towards in your second year developing as a player? Man, it's great. Um, like the one advice that I give rookies just coming in is uh, like that's what I did with uh, Kirk and Trent. And um, really like you find people that you kind of just, you know, you groove to and like they remind you of yourself. You're all working hard and you kind of just stick by them just because uh, the NFL, man, it's, it's ebbs and flows, you know, it's ups and downs and you're going to have bad days. That's just, what it, that's just what it is. That's the business of it. So uh, I just find guys like that because we keep each other motivated. We keep each other going. And Larry's always with you guys. Larry's so what does he bring? Him. What does he add to that click? <laughs> yeah, we uh, he's the he's the wise guy. But I feel yeah. like you know, uh, you know, we make make Larry feel a little young again. Mm -hmm. And um, it's cool, man, just to have him, him. Like I remember coming in, and uh, Larry Larry would say something to me. I go home and tell my mom. Like Larry Fitzgerald <laughs> say something <laughs> to me. But now, like to consider him a great friend is just it's, it's awesome and it's a blessing to have, man. Just to have someone as wise as Larry, that's a great of a man as Larry, always help us out guys for our careers on and off the field. I remember a time in training camp, you were FaceTiming your daughter yeah. and then Larry sneaks in behind you. Yeah. And it's just that interaction between you and your family and him. He's always seems to be, you know, just seeing how you're doing, your family right. and others around yeah, you. That's, that's his, uh, he's such a great guy. And he knows what he's doing too. Like he thinks he's <laughs> slick. Like uh, he knew I was talking to my mom. He grabbed the phone, Miss, Miss Edmonds. This is, this, is, uh, this is Larry Fitzgerald, I'm Chase's teammate. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah. like, he knows what he's doing. And uh, he, he made her day by that, but he's such a great man. What about the makeup of this team when you look at the roster and just yeah. the coaching staff? Just gives you hope for now and just the right. future. Yeah, I mean we got a, we got a young team, and then obviously we got guys with a lot of years on the on the board like Larry, like T Suggs, T Sizzle, uh, Pat Pete's getting up there a little bit, but he's, he's nine years now. But uh, it, it's it's a good mix of guys just because you got some young guys who are trying to make names for themselves, 
and then you got older guys really show us how it's done and then find ways just to continue to get better and, and deal with when you have off games or when you have great games, you know, like you don't want to get the success to your head, but you also don't want to let a negative game affect you going down the road. All right, we have some fan questions coming in. The first one from CJW192 wants to know who your favorite running back was Michelle growing McCoy, up. No question. Oh, that was easy. Oh, Boom. Yeah, no, no question. Uh, Shady's from the 717. Uh, this school, he went to high school right down the street from me, so I got the okay. same play. I mean, I saw him when he broke his ankle. And um, again, just to being able, like, when I started playing good last year, you know, I got Shady even reached out to me. That was like, that was so big to me just because, like, he's like the neighborhood hero where I'm from, you know. Uh, and I always wanted to run like Shady and be like Shady. Yeah, Very cool. cool. Miss Litchie 9 wants to know, what is your greatest motivation before every game? Uh, my daughter, but also a mix in with uh, my Uncle Joe, who passed away when I was, uh, I was like nine. And uh, my Uncle Joe's like a, a second father to me. He just always made every game. And, you know, uh, he always told me that I would make the NFL. And he would never miss a game. And he passed away early. So every time before I step out on that field, I always, you know, I know he's watching me and I just, I go out there and try to do what I can do. Do you have like a pregame ritual where you do a prayer or anything before you always, hit the always field? Always prayer, yeah. So I always listen to a specific song and I always watch a specific YouTube video before I go on the What's field. What's that? Deshaun McCoy. Okay. Deshaun McCoy is the, the highlight video. And then the, uh, the song is Hosanna. It's a uh, it's a, a Christian song actually. Yeah, Hosanna by Kirk, like Kirk Franklin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, that's what I do. Awesome. All right, Jay Moore wants to know who are your closest friends on the team? Oh, Trent, Kurt, and probably, I, can't, I can't believe I'm saying a 36 year old man with fish too, man. Like, <laughs> He's your new bestie. Yeah, that's, that's, that's so funny to me. But uh, definitely Trent and Kurt, man. We're, we're always with each other. Like Coach Sachs, uh, He's always making fun of us every time we're at the camp. He's like, I tell you what, if you just want to find all three, you just find one of you, and then, and then you that find another two. So it's up to I see that too. <laughs> now with playoff baseball going on right now, CJ42 wants to know what would be your walk-up song if you were a baseball ah. player. See, I'm not a uh, walk-up song. Do what I want, Lil Uzi. Okay. I like. I'll probably do that one. Uh, It'll get you right. Yeah, I remember going to a Yankees game uh, when I was at Fordham. I forget what Judge's walk-up song was, but I know they always go all rise. And the whole okay, stadium yeah. stand up. That was cool. That was cool. You have to bring the juice before yeah. you walk up to that plate. All right. Last question. This one from Chelsea Miles. Now she remembers your draft story where you said that you were going to pay off yeah. your sister's loan. She wants to know if you ever were able to do that. I did. Uh, did. Chelsea, it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you look at that bank I, account. I, <laughs> it hurt, but uh, how amazing though that you yeah, could oh, do man, that. It felt, it felt good just to uh, be able to help my sister out in that way and. Um, Again, that's, I know it was a lump sum, but I didn't even look at it like that. It was just something that I felt like I wanted to do. Um, something where I was so fortunate and so blessed to be able to just make it to where I am and you know accomplish my dreams. And if I, if I can help my sister out where she doesn't have to worry about school debt, she can just live her life. Um, it's, it was something that I didn't have to think twice about. That's such an amazing story. And big shoes to fill for people coming into the league. <laughs> right? He paid off his sister's student loans. <laughs> Probably did you buy your mom a car. I did not buy a oh, car yet, but uh, <laughs> but you know I asked my mom. I asked her like, "What was your dream car?" She, you know, Chase. I don't I don't have no. She always says you don't have no dream car, so I'm still like. I'm kinda, sure it's coming eventually. Oh, it's right? coming. Something's coming for her, but uh, yeah, that, that was the really big purchase was the sister with the student loans. Oh, that's yep. amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us appreciate today. It. Thank I appreciate you for your time. Me.